The man accused of killing Ruby Garcia in March in Grand Rapids has accepted a deal from prosecutors to plead guilty to a number of charges. 13 on your side, Josh Alberters was in court today. Josh, what is in this deal? Well, Lauren, as part of it, Brandon Ortiz Vite pled guilty to four charges, one count of each of the following second degree murder, carjacking, carrying a concealed weapon and felony firearm. Prosecutors had given him up until this status conference today to make up his mind on whether to take it. And now he's set for sentencing. This comes after a judge determined in May that there had been enough evidence to send him to trial. A trooper who said he spoke with Ortiz Vite after the initial arrest testified that the suspect admitted shooting Garcia after a fight in her car in March. Authorities had said he had then left her body on the side of US 131 in Grand Rapids. He confirmed to the judge today on the record that he had shot her, left her and drove off. After today's hearing, the county prosecutor told reporters offering this deal was a decision made alongside Garcia's family, staving off a trial. Well, anytime you have a murder case, you got to talk to the victim's family. I mean, this is a, it's a process. Everybody just thinks, well, I'll just go to trial. It's a tough process to go to trial, a lengthy process, and there's always, you know, pitfalls of what may happen at a trial, whether it be, yeah, we had a very good case and I wasn't worried about losing it, but, you know, things happen, things can be overturned, could be a mistrial, whatever may happen. So this was done in consultation with the family, and this was kind of their wishes to kind of make sure there, there's much more certainty with a plea than there is if you take it to trial. So, sir, the offer included a sentencing range of 30 to 37 years plus two years for the felony firearm. Again, Becker said this was done in consultation with the family of Ruby Garcia, some of whom were in the courtroom today, but we were told they did not want to be on camera or make a statement at court, and we are respecting their wishes. Ortiz Vite is set to be sentenced on October 1st, 31st rather. In the newsroom, Josh Albertus, 13 on your side.